So I'm smoking my Molly Frank. Love this pipe. Good pipe. And uh, smoking Dan's blend from Boswell's. Look at that. That's a half a pound. And I have my coffee black. Of course. So, the mugs are still available. You still get them. There'll be a link, a link below, in the description box. So look, check it out. So uh, I just still have the mugs. I'm going to still sell them a little, a uh, little bit longer on there. I extended that, uh, and I got stickers on there too as well. And. Uh, this is my gun stock stained. I, this sat, I put conditioner on it and the the Howard finish feed and wash conditioner. Let me look at how nice that that tobacco tray is. These are still on sale. I have different tampers I make. BW. I think I have BW on the bottom, but you can't really see it. But this is a tamper I use. This is mine. 20 bucks in the United States only, free shipping. I'll do free shipping. In US only, you get a tray and a tamper. And the tamper can match the tray. I'll do gun stock, walnut, golden pecan. Doesn't come out too good. Or red Sedona, that one that you saw uh, last night on the live. Or uh, I think it's called red cedar. Sedona red or something like that, but I don't like that color. But anyhow, they're available too. So, anyhow, I made a trip to Boswell's today, and uh, I picked up the original Red Virginia Robert McConnell's. Excellent stuff, great stuff. It's uh, broken Red Virginias with a hint of Perique, and when they say there's a hint of Perique, there is a hint of Perique, but you can taste it. I mean, it is there. Um, and it, it is, it, it's delicious. It's got a really sweet smell. And I just, I love it. I, uh, I, I'll be getting more. That was the only tin he had left. That was it. In the store. That he had left, so. Uh, but he's got, they got a lot of different tobaccos. I had quite the, excuse me, sorry about that. I kicked my mic. Had quite the experience today down there. Archie's very good. He's the go-to guy down there in Chambersburg. And then they have the other one up in the Huntington area. Up near Raystown Lake. Up in northern PA. Probably a two-hour drive for me. I'm only 30 minutes from the Chambersburg store. Quite the experience every time I go in. Um, I'm treated very well. Uh, but Archie knows me. Because I've been in there a number of times. And he knows me. But And every time he, I said, point me to something, you know, this is, this is, I remind him what I like. And he says, well, try this. This is Hunter's Choice. So I got Hunter's Choice. I got uh, Dan's Blend. And I decided to get some Northwoods. Because um, I had Northwoods two years ago. Didn't like it. Gave it away. Stupid mistake. If it's something that you, you're like, ah, I don't like it, put it in the cellar. Put it in the cell in your cellar. Let it sit for a little while. Wait six months or, or so. Uh, you know, two or three, six months, whatever you want to do, and try it again. You're gonna you're gonna like it. So, I found that with Northwoods. I smoked that in the LCS Briar today down there, and I, I found that I liked it. I really enjoyed it. So. Uh, plus, um, I bought some for Old Dirty Piper. Um, so, Johnny, you got some Northwoods coming your way. And uh, I, I appreciate uh, your channel and all you do. So, the Dan's blend that I'm smoking is Golden Long Cut Virginia's. And it's a mild and cool blend. A mild and cool blend, and it is. And it, it's a, it's a, they say it's a wonderful, gentle, smooth smoke. And exactly what they say it is, it is. It is a wonderful smooth gentle smoke I just I mean I enjoy it 
I I'm impressed with their house blends. I have their berry blend. I have their Christmas, the one Christmas spice or something like that. Um, they've been sitting for. Those things should be good, good to go. They've been sitting for quite a while. So, and the Red Virginia. I smoked that earlier. It is very good. But, uh, I wanted to talk to my subscribers. Uh, you know, thank you very much for all the new subscribers. Um, I appreciate you. But the Hunter's Choice, another good blend. I was sitting out here smoking. The window's behind me. It's my wife's home office, so she works from home. Um, she was like, hey, what is that smell? That smells really good. What are you smoking? And I told her, it's called it's Hunter's Choice. And it's a traditional blend of Cavendish, Burleys, and Bright Virginias, seasoned with a unique, semi-sweet, very pleasant aroma. Um, and it is. It will not ghost your pipe. Archie tells me it's a cherry aroma. It will not ghost your pipe. It's not that strong of of a flavor with the with that um, that sweet cherry flavor. You you can you can smell it more than you can taste it. I'll say that, and it won't ghost your pipe because it's not over it's not overpowering, but. Uh, two channels I wanted to give shout outs to two channels that I really appreciate um, and I'd like you to check them out if you're not sub to beans 316 Brian Brian makes his own pipes he's got a great reputation he's got great pipes but he does great reviews and the two people I'm, I'm shouting out and I'm doing um, shout outs for is because they do great reviews and those two are the two that I use when I pick tobaccos because of the way they do the reviews um, and nine times out of ten what they like I end up liking so beans 316 check his channel out if you're not sub to him sub him watch his Saturday morning Every week he does a review on something. He does a series, you know, on like a brand. He'll do a series on their stuff. Um, and the second one is Old Dirty Piper. Now I know, I know, and I know Johnny's going to be watching this. I know that some of you... Um, there's there's a past there and I want you to understand something regardless he's a good man he does great reviews and he he's trying to put up good reviews and good content he really knows tobacco he understands pipe tobacco he loves the hobby and he's very good at and I've learned a lot from him so there's a channel I want you to check out if you're not sub to Johnny, sub to him. He should be at 500. He's not. He's only at 300 and some. He should be. Probably going to lose some subs for saying that. But Johnny and I talk regularly. We get to know the guy. You find out how nice he is. I spend some time with him. I did a video on it a couple years ago. And he is a nice guy. So check those out. So today I was down there. I got quite the education. I thought I knew the history of Boswell's. Archie educated me even more. And yeah, you hear the wind picking up. We got rain coming for the next couple of days. Um, Dan's blend presses the heck out of me. Um, it's just, you know, it's just a great great uh, blend I like but 
He's been doing this for, for over 43 years, close to, you know, 45 years. You know, he, he's done a wonderful job. And uh, his son, Dan, now works in the shop. And Mr. Boswell um, is just, you know, he's an artist. He knows the pipe, you know. But Archie educated me. I asked if I could go back to the shop and do a video. And for insurance reasons, I can't. Um, for insurance purposes, you can't go back into the shop anymore because uh, their insurance policy won't allow it. You have to be an employee because um, if you get hurt, and I get it. But I got to meet Dan. He's a nice guy. Um, they cleaned my Boswell pipe. Archie cleaned my Boswell pipe while I was down there. I spent over two hours there, which is unusual. I don't do that normally. Pipe shops. I get my stuff, hang out for a couple, you know, for 20 minutes or so, and then I'm out. Um, but I spent a lot of time today talking with Archie. And it was very relaxing. And I sat upstairs in the parlor. I was all by myself. No one else up there except some other guy. But he was around the corner on the other end. And I was out near the front and near the windows. And the windows were open. Beautiful day. It was so nice. So nice to just sit and smoke. Relaxing. And I was, you know, reading and then, you know, made a few phone calls and. But um, Archie was telling me that Mr. Boswell spends a lot of his time up at the other shop now, up near Raystown Lake, makes all the pipes up there. I don't blame him. It's a beautiful area, uh, that, that area up there, northern Pennsylvania. It's about a two-hour drive or so for me. Um, so I'm going to go up to that shop at some point. And uh, then, the, then Dan and, and Archie polish everything up but uh, Archie's just he's he's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to pipes and pipe tobacco he's just good good guy really good guy um, he just he's a good worker and he's he's good he's a good he's a good addition for Boswell's um, pipe shop but they've been doing very well um, he told me that mr. Boswell makes six dozen pipes a week can you imagine that six dozen pipes a week that's what he said six dozen I was like are you kidding me so imagine the hours that he's in the shop you know imagine that but he said it's very relaxing enjoyable so and they're selling them those pipes don't sit. They're sold. They're gone. Um, every week there's a new, new, like they have a certain, they have, they have a certain a rack, one wall. They have estate pipes of different pipes. There's a nice Savinelli there and a couple other estate pipes. And then the rest is Boswell pipes. And every week they're putting new pipes out because these pipes are getting bought. I'd like to know who's buying them, you know. <laughs> Cause and they're the prices on the pipes, they're not bad. I only took so much cash with me, and I'll tell you what, it was hard to hold back my credit card. Cause there was two pipes that if I'd have come home with them, huh, I'd have been in big trouble. Um, the price, the price of his pipes are a fraction. Of what you pay for some of the pipes that are out there and his pipes are great I smoke I smoke mine all the time all the time he does some nine mils he doesn't like to but he does that pipe there was a pipe that I showed you last night with a copper tenon and I had that pipe I happened to have that pipe with me and I said hey can you can you make a stem for this and they're making me a stem for it I'll pick it up next week so I'll be back at Boswell's I'm gonna see if they'll let me video 
in the store. I'm going to see if Archie will let me interview him uh, in the store. If he's busy, uh, I won't be able to interview him. Uh, but if he lets me interview him, um, I'll do an interview and I'll do a little quick video of the sto- uh, in there at the store. But they they got all our Christmas decorations up. And it's really cool. The woodwork in the store is beautiful. In the shop, I should say, not store. It's beautiful. The parlor is relaxing, beautiful, very well kept. It's getting really windy out. But he does a great job, so. I love I love going to places like that. Um, there's one down in Vin- Winchester in Virginia uh, John oh I met him I ran into him on the on the river down here he he does tour guides now and he gave me a punch of tobaccos I ran into him he's like here take here this is for you this is for, and he gave me like some Peter Stogabies he gave me some other tobaccos and he appreciated my pipe he liked the pipe I had which was my Svenborg, and he was just real nice. I did a video, and then I talked about him when I did the video. I can't remember the name. But he guides fishing guides mostly now. And his son, Haynes, Haynes, Hayes Tobacco, John Hayes Tobacco. Um, and so I want to get down to that shop, too. But just... It's, it was just a relaxing day. Then I came home, and I figured, oh, I'm not going to be in the wood shop tonight. Uh, not feeling too good. Really sore. A lot of pain. Because um, I had to get the leaves done. Because we got a couple days of rain coming. And wet leaves were a lot heavier than dry leaves. So, I got all that loaded up into the truck. Two loads. Took them down to the township. And uh, Mrs. Beard Welshman helped me. And uh, I'm glad I got that done because we got a couple of days rain, of rain coming. So over the next couple of days, I'll be in the shop. Still, where I got stuff I'm working on for some people. So it's a matter of getting them done. It's just taking some time. Um, I hope to have, I'm making a, a pipe tray. Jeff, I hope to have your tray done within the next week or two. Um, but I had some existing projects that I had to get done for other people. So tomorrow the work starts on that. And I hope I hope you like it. So, uh That's rare. That is very rare to hear a plane going overhead. So, anyhow. Just a wonderful day. Nice end to the wonderful day. Got my coffee. Got my pipe. I'm on my porch. It's November. 70 degrees out. Just a bless, just a blessing to just enjoy an evening on the porch like this. So, thank you all. Uh, so, no wood shop tonight, like I said. I won't be down in the wood shop working on anything. Just too much pain, too stiff, hurting too much. I took some some meds that kind of make me a little loopy so I might seem that way now to make me a little loopy so not good to work with machinery when you're like that so but tomorrow with the rain I'll be in the shop and on occasion I'll come out and take a smoke break but I don't know I usually smoke like I don't know maybe four maybe five bowls a day it depends on the day Depends on how I'm feeling. But I'm I'm drinking coffee all the time. All day long. All day long. So 
All right, everybody. God bless. God loves you. I love you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'll see you on the next one. Light them up.